One student can decide to start with mathematics, another student want, wants to start with uh, word building, another one with science. Now that they're working on their own, it would be easy for a child to come to class and they just daydream in their office while the day away. But if they have set goals and they know by the end of today, in my math work, I need to have done so many pages, then they know they have work to do. Unfinished work becomes a student's homework. Some students finish their work quickly, others take time. Some students can do up to 30 pages, meaning tomorrow's work, they've done it today. Here, it depends on your speed. So we've had students who've finished up to 15 years, and then some finished up to 21. Gakenya Masharia is an alumni of the school, having transitioned to the system in grade four. My parents transitioned me. They transitioned me. They were both uh, education majors in college. And they transitioned me because um, as education majors, they felt like the system provided a space for more holistic growth as an individual. Um, one, because you could learn at your own pace. And then second, because instead of there being like a large exam, you know, at the end where people literally kill themselves, um, it was cumulative GPA that counted. Each learner at their own pace has worked for Amani Wainaina, who began as a slow learner. She had a convulsive disorder. So it's like uh, she became really, really, really slow. And uh, she couldn't catch up with the teacher. She couldn't catch up with the other children. So ACE worked for her because she's not moving with the, with the crowd. She is moving at according to her own pace. Progressing to the next grade is not tied to a calendar year. And learners in different grades can sit near each other. In the system, students mark their own coursework. Samuel Kamau completes one of his goals for the day. He goes through the motions. So um, from my office, from my office, uh, I needed to score my pace. So I had to lift my flag up and ask for permission to come and score in the scoring station. And I have scored and uh, I have a correction. They score their work using red pens, ordinarily reserved for teachers, while the supervisor uses a green pen for his checkup. For all other classwork, only pencils are used. In a case where you, you're using an ink, it's hard because you can't come back to erase. When it comes to writing, learners not only use pencils, they all have the same handwriting, the cursive handwriting. We don't teach you, you teach yourself, because we'll give you a piece and that piece is going to show you the letter formation. But even with learners marking their own work, Cheating is alien here. We train the child morals, meaning they have to be honest. Integrity is key in this learning center. And I think in Kenya and in the world, really, those are values that we long to get and to see in people that sometimes are hard to come by. It is this approach to learning that drove Alex Kumaya to enroll his two children here. <laughs> Apart from kusoma na kufunzua paperwork and everything, moral, watafunzua nini kama utu. There is no KCPE or KCSE exams. After completing a PACE, students do a PACE test. Once they get to grade 8, that is where our high school begins, then whatever they do from that point moving on counts towards their final grade. So we'll keep all their PACE test results. We'll have like accumulative grade and we get a grade point average. They are sent to UK for certification. So we don't award the certificate. The International Certificate of Christian Education, which is, which, which is what they use uh, to apply and to enroll in institutions of higher learning, both locally and internationally. Kenya Masharia used her certification to gain admission to the Desta University. Actually, going to university for me was exciting because there's someone there actually talking to you. <laughs> so excited. And uh, just, you know, having classmates to discuss class content with, I, I was really excited. And she stood out in some areas. When I first went into college, many of my lecturers thought I was plagiarizing. And they kept asking me, but I'm like, no, this is how we used to write papers in the system where I come from. <laughs> Learners engage in various extracurricular activities. 
chess is compulsory and these young ones are already relatively good at it. The objective is to train them to think widely. And learning goes beyond the Bible and academics. Part of the life skills that we train them on uh, in terms of responsibility is cleaning up after themselves. So the younger ones clean the tables after meals and the older ones clean the dishes. The accelerated Christian education, also referred to as the School of Tomorrow, was launched in 1970 in the U.S. and is used in 145 countries. In Kenya, it has been practiced since the year 2004. At Crystal Light Brook School, they say everyone is a winner, even though some students don't do too well. Yes, they are there, but not many. And what that would tell you is that that student did not prepare well. No teachers, chalkboards, desks, noisy desk mates, or even exams. The system has a different approach to academic excellence and character building. And with students here having to mark their own coursework, this is one place where honesty and integrity are nurtured. Rita Tinina, KTN News.